my beautiful people you are welcome to my channel i am vivian and i say a very big thank you for clicking on this video thank you so much all my subscribers god bless you all and i hope you are all doing great and if you're new to this channel this is your first time or you have been watching my videos and you're yet to subscribe please subscribe join this wonderful family okay just hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell beside you so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified so i upload video on this channel every week so i upload video on sewing tutorials fashion tips fashion business tips diys okay so we have a lot coming up on this channel so and i believe you will not want to miss out on anything at all so just hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that whenever these videos come up you'll be among those that will be notified so thank you so much for joining so today we'll be making an a-line dress okay so it's going to have yoke and pocket so now i have placed my fabric on fold so let me just show you how i did that so let's say this is my fabric okay this way it is so I just folded it like this and I, okay, so I folded like this and folded it like this again. So the reason why I folded it into four is that I want to cut the back and the front together, okay? So um, it will be a free dress and uh, there won't be zipper at the back. So I won't have zipper. So I will add allowance for ease. So now we'll start drafting. So i'll just mark out this top as my starting point so for the length i'm using the whole length of the fabric so i'll just mark out the top for my starting point okay so because i don't want to use the edge so i'll just mark it out like so so now i'll place my vertical measurements which are the bust points and the waist point these are the vertical measurements i'll be making use of since it is an a-line dress from the waist will go straight down so let me just show you so i'll place the bust point from the starting point the bust point is 10 inches and the waist is 18 inches okay so i just mark that now i want to draw line so let me just mark again to help me with my line so this is the boss point here this is the boss point and this is the waist okay we'll have it there after marking my boss point and the waist i will now place my shoulder measurements so the shoulder is 15 inches so 15 divided by 2 that is 7.5 but I'll be adding half inch because of the sleeve, okay? Half inch for joining the sleeve. So I'll mark at eight inches. So this is the shoulder. Then for my neck width, I'll take four inches for the neck width. Okay? So I'll take, or let me take 3.5. I don't want it too wide. So 3.5 for the neck width. I have it there. So for my neck depth, since I'm cutting the back and the front, I'll mark the back and also mark the front. So for the front, I'll take four inches for the neck depth, okay? I'll take four inches. Then for the back, for the back, I'll take 1.5. So this is the front neck depth. Then for the back, I'll take 1.5. So I would first of all cut out the back before cutting the front, okay? So I'll show you, see what I'll do there. So this is the back neck depth, okay? Then for my shoulder, at this shoulder point, that is where I marked my shoulder, I'll come down by one inch. So I'll come down by one inch, then I'll connect it to the neck width. So this is my shoulder slope. So this is the shoulder slope, okay? So I hope you can see this and I have it there. So now I'll place my armhole length which is eight inches so from the shoulder slope i'll place the armhole depth okay so i've told this severally on this channel how to get your armhole depth so 
exactly what you have on your shoulder here that's all you place here okay your shoulder measurement divided by two but i use eight because i want ease at the arm hole area i want ease because i'm making a free dress okay so let me repeat that again i say your arm hole depth is your shoulder measurement divided by two so you know my shoulder measurement divided by two is 7.5 so i added um, 0.5 because I said I want ease at the armhole area. So I don't want it tight at that point. So I added half inch for ease. And this is my armhole depth. Okay. So at this point, I'll just extend it so that I can create my armhole curve. Okay. So for the neckline, let me also curve it out. So this is the back. So I'll just curve it like so. So for the back, I came down by 1.5. I use 1.5. And for the front, I use 4 inches. So I'm just covering it with my free hand so that I can have the shape I want there. Okay. So this is okay for my neckline so this is the back i'll first of all cut out the back remove the back then cut out the front now for my arm hole so i'll just measure this line which is eight inches and mark the midpoint which is four so at this point i mark the midpoint i would come in by half inch so i'm just using half inch okay then i'll connect it to this point here so i want to create my arm hole curve so after connecting it like this, I'll now make my curve. But before that, I would mark my boss circumference on this line. So the boss divide by four. That's boss circumference divide by four. That is nine inches. Okay. So I'll mark the nine inches, like I said, and I'll be adding this nine inches. That is boss circumference divided by four. I'll be adding one inch for ease because the dress will be free and no zipper at the back so depending on how free you want it to be you can add one inch 1.5 or even two inches depending on how free you want it to be but i'm using one inch okay so this is the one inch from the ease and one inch for seam allowance so this is it okay so all together what i have here is 11 inches so now i'll mark i would uh, make my arm hole curve from here to that point. So this is my armhole curve, okay? So just smoothing it out here. And have it there. So this is my armhole. Now, at the waist, I'll place my waist circumference divided by four, okay? Plus the ease. So the waist circumference divided by four is 8.5, okay? It's 8.5. Then I'll add my one inch for ease and one inch for seam allowance. That is two inches and I have it here. Okay, so the next thing now is just to connect it from the, from this armhole to the waist. So I'll just connect like so. So I'll just connect it. Okay, if you can see this. So now, Having done this, I will just connect from this waist all the way to the end of my fabric, okay? So here, you can decide how wide you want it to be. But I'm using the whole length of the, guys, I'm using the whole width of the fabric. So you can decide to say, um, to use your hip circumference plus five, okay? That is, you can decide to take that here for freeness so I can move. But... I'm just connecting it. So here you don't need the hip measurement because it's a free dress. That's why I didn't mark the hip circumference. So just connect from this point down. So let me do just that. So this is it. So after connecting it, you can just smoothen out any sharp edge you have there. So I have it here. So the allowance is inclusive, okay? So this is what we have. Just smoothing out any sharp air. So I hope this is clear enough, okay? So this is our A-line dress. I'll go ahead now and cut it out. Then after cutting it, I'll show you how to create the yoke, okay? 
So now, remember I said I'm cutting the back and the front together. I'll first of all cut out the back neckline so that there won't be any mistake. So by the time I cut out the back, I would cut out every other thing, remove the back, then cut out the front neck line. Okay. Then for the back armhole too, the back armhole will not be as deep as the front. The back armhole will not be as deep as the front. So the back armhole will just come straight like this. So let's not forget that. If you have not watched my video on basic bodies, I encourage you to do that. I'll be leaving the link in the description box. Okay, so that is just what we have done here. We have drafted a basic body. So this is the back armhole, which I'll first of all cut before, by the time I move the back, I'll then cut the front. Okay, so you know the essence of coming in in the front is to avoid puffiness at the armhole area but the back remains the way it should be so now i would cut and one more thing i always do this okay i always do this and that's why i usually step down a little bit when cutting my fabric i would just add half inch at the top here for the seam allowance okay from this point i'll mark half inch from this point i'll mark half inch so this is what i usually do and I've, i thought that in my basic bodies tutorial so just connect it so the reason for this is so that i will join i'll use it to join the shoulder this is the shoulder seam allowance i hope it's clear because if you don't include your shoulder seam allowance by the time you join your neck depth will be reduced so it's always good to have your shoulder seam allowance. So by the time you join the shoulder, join at the shoulder, you have the exact neck depth you desire. So that is why I'm using adding half inch at the shoulder. Okay. So I just hope this is clear. This is just see, just increase it by half inch. So when you are drafting, always make available that space. Always create the space at the top for it. Okay. So this is it. Now, I'll cut it. I'll cut it like so. Okay. So, remember I said I'll first of all cut out the back. By the time I move the back panel, I'll then cut out the front armhole and the front neckline. Then every other thing remain the same. So, let me go ahead and cut it out. So this is what I have here. Now I'll remove the back, okay? So I'll just remove the back. So I'll just remove this one. So after removing the back, now I can cut out the front armhole and the front neck line, okay? So I'll just cut it out. I have it here. I haven't cut out the front. It's now time for me to make my yoke. Okay. So for the yoke, I'll measure from the shoulder to where I want the yoke to get to. So it will get to like the upper boss or some inches before the upper boss. So I'll, I'll be using um either 7.5 or 8. Remember, this is my shoulder seam allowance. So I'm not measuring from there, I'm measuring right from here. Okay, so the yoke will get to eight inches okay so this is where my yoke will get to so this is it this is where my yoke will get to okay so now since i'm drafting directly on fabric i would add half inch upward this half inch will be to join the main to, to join the fabric and the yoke okay so what i'll do now i'll just from this point i'll go up by half inch So I've marked half inch, okay? So I hope you understand. This half inch I've marked is so that by the time I cut out the yoke, this half inch will be the joining allowance 
to the upper part so i'll use this half inch to join it because if you don't add it and you just cut out by the time you join you have your yoke coming below where you want it to be okay so that's why i added the half inch at once by the time i cut this out i also use it to cut the lace fabric for the yoke so this is the lace i'll be using for the yoke i'll use this part to cut it also adding my half inch for joining so now let me cut it out So now I'll use the yoke to cut on my lace, okay, for the upper part. So I'll just place the lace on fold. Then I'll place my yoke on it, like so. Now remember, I'll add half inch at this lower part for joining it to the other side. So I'll just add half inch so you can actually measure it you can just eyeball it so this is it so you just add in half inch and i'll cut so i have it here so you can see the yoke this is it okay so i'll go ahead and join it to the main uh, to the down so i'll go ahead and join it and we'll have it there okay so after joining it i would also make the sleeve so the sleeve will just be a basic sleeve then i'll also show you how to make the pocket okay then for the neck i would use bias tape to hem the neck line so as you can see i've joined the yoke okay so this is it and you can see the a-line shape so what i'll do now is to join the back and the front okay so i'll get the back i'll join the back and the front so right side facing right side I will join at the shoulder so by the time i have joined it at the shoulder okay i will use my bias tape to hem the neckline so i'll hem the neckline using my bias tape so and then the next thing is to make the pockets the pockets so let me show you how to go about that so but first of all you need to join at the shoulder okay need to join the back and the front at the shoulder like so so you can see the half inch i joined the yoke with so you join your back and your front at the shoulder like so and you have it so after doing that for the pocket i'll, I'll show you how to join the pocket then move to the sleeve so for the pocket the pocket should be how i usually where i usually fix pockets on my gown or that is when i'm making a gown i the pocket i fix it three inches before the hip okay so the pocket should not be too low and should not be too high so what i do is this so i will move the shoulder seam allowance from there i'll measure the hip where my hip so the hip is at 24 so this is where the hip is okay so three inches from there up so you can take two you can take three i usually take um, three so i notice the waist here so the pocket will start from three inches from the waist and this is where it will be the pocket will, will start from here so you sew the pocket from here to wherever it gets to so you can see from your waist you can put your hand in your pocket so the pocket will be around the hip side do not go below the hip and do not go too high so it will be around that hip so if you see your dress or your gown with pocket and you put your hand you know that it's at the hip area that the pocket would like so this is it for where we we'll fix the pocket so now for cutting the pocket i'll just place my piece of fabric on fold 
So I'll use this one to cut one, then use it to cut the other one. So after folding my fabric like this, what I'll do is just place my hand the way I want it to be inside the pocket. Okay, then I'll just trace it, adding allowance for sewing it. So you can make it very big, you can make it okay, just the size of your hand. Okay, so you can just make it whatever shape you like, however you want it to be. Okay, so that is it. How it's going to be inside the dress. So after marking it like so, I'll also mark it this way. So making sure that where I'll put my hand in is wide enough. Okay, it's wide enough. So this is just okay like so. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. By the time I cut out this one, I'll use it to cut the other pocket. So I have this one for one side. So I'll use this to cut the other one. Okay. So this is my, these are my pocket for the two sides. So like I said, your pockets will start. I usually how this just how I do it okay so you can decide to ma measure what it is from the waist almost three inches for me too but normally just mark your hip point then from your hip point come up by three inches so that's where the pocket will start so I'll go ahead and sew the pocket from that three inches and you can see where I have my pocket okay so you can see where it is so to sew it what is what I will do so now in order to sew your pocket you will join the shoulder, okay, back and front. Then you sew by your one inch seam allowance, okay. So when you have gotten to this point where you fix your pocket, or before joining the back and front, you first of all attach the pocket. That is, you take your pocket, remember where you have marked, okay, and you also mark on the other side, like so. Make sure it is aligning. So make sure it is aligning, okay, like so. Then you mark the other side, like I have done. You sew your pocket to read. Okay, so this is my pocket. I have it like this. You turn to the right side and you place it like this. Okay, so you place right side face, facing each other. Right side facing each other. At that point where you have marked, like so. You place it. So I'll hold it with pin so that you see this. So I'll hold it with pin from that point where I marked. I'll just hold it down. So this is how you sew it to your gown or to your dress. So you can see you'll be sewing on the wrong side. This is how it will be, like so. So you can see this, okay? Then this other one, you do the same thing. Right side facing right side. So this is where I marked. So I'll place it like so, and I'll pin it down. This is how I would sew it. So by the time I'm, I, I sew it or I stitch it, I'll be stitching on the wrong side. Okay, so this is it. So I just held it down with pin to show you, and this is what we have at the good side of it. And you can see at the good side of it. So this is how... It will be by the time you have stitched it together. Okay. So having done this now, having done this, the next thing is to go ahead and stitch by the one inch seam allowance or whatever seam allowance you took. You stitch by the seam allowance. By the time you have gotten to this point, you then go this way. Okay. You stitch this way like so. Then you come back to this side that you see. You stitch to this side. Then you stitch all the way down. Okay, so I hope this is clear. So that is simply how to do it. You stitch your shoulder. By the time you have stitched the shoulder, you, you stitch the side like so. To this point, then you take it round your pocket to this point and all the way down. So the same thing I did on this side, I will do also on this other side. So I'll go ahead and stitch it now. Then I'll show you how to make the sleeve. So I have joined it at the shoulder, but I want to first of all make the sleeve. So I like joining my sleeve before closing up the side, okay? So now let's move on to drafting the sleeve. So I'll just place this aside and uh, I'll be making my sleeve with the lace fabric. 
So I've placed it on full. So on this channel, I have a detailed tutorial on how to make a basic sleeve. In case if this one is too fast, you can go and watch that. I'll also drop the link in the description box below. So I just want to show you how to make the basic sleeve quickly. So after making the sleeve, I might use part of the um, African print fabric to design the lower part of the sleeve. But for now, I place my fabric on fold, as you can see. Then... I would at this top part I'll mark my sleeve caps height. Okay, so the formula for sleeve caps height is your bust circumference divided by 12 plus 1. Okay, so bust circumference divided by 12 plus 1. Mine is 4 inches. So at this top part, so I'm using the whole of the lace fabric as the length of the sleeve. So that is 11 inches. So the sleeve caps height is 4 inches. So I would mark it. Okay, so I'll just mark the four inches. I hope you can see the chalk mark. So that's why I said you can watch my video on how to draft the basic sleeve. Okay, so I'm just marking four inches, which is my sleeve cap's height. So the essence of this is, this is where I'll be placing my armhole length or armhole depth to form my sleeve. So I'll just mark it out so that I can see it. So I have it here, okay? So at this point now, I would measure that I would place my armhole depth. So remember the armhole depth I placed here, eight inches. That is what I would place here, okay? So I'll place my armhole depth. That is eight inches. I'll also add half inch, just to make it a little bit free. Because it's a free dress, I don't want it so tight there. So this is 8.5. Now at this point, I'll just connect. And that is, I'll draw a line to this edge here. So I'm trying so hard to make sure the chalk line shows so that you would understand. Okay, so I've drawn the line to this edge. So I'll measure the line. I'll just measure the line and find the midpoint. So this line is 9.5. Okay, 9.5 inches. So the midpoint is here. Now I'll mark the midpoint of the line. So just measure from here and mark the midpoint. Okay, so this is the midpoint. So at that midpoint, just come up by half inch. So I have it there. Now I'll make a curve. From this half inch, I'll just curve it up to this point. So let me use my French curve to do that. So I'll make a curve to this point. From this half inch, step up. Just curve it. So I'll curve it up to this point. Then, I'll then curve it down to meet this armhole length. Okay? So from that point, just curve it down to meet the armhole length. So this is how to draft a basic sleeve. So if this one is not clear. Just watch the one I made on paper. Okay? It's very clear. So having done this, by the time I cut it, you would understand. Now, at this main line here, I'll also make a curve to this edge from the first line. Okay, I'll still make a curve. So this is to get the front arm hole, which is deeper than the back. Okay, the front of the sleeve, which is deeper than the back. So by the time I cut it, you understand. So just keep watching. Then I'll also curve it down. I'll also curve it down. Okay. From that point, from that uh, center point, I'll also curve it down. Don't worry, by the time I cut it, you'll see it clearly. So I have it there, okay? I have it here. The upper part is here, the low, the front side. Don't worry, I'll cut it. Then at this point, I'll take my round sleeve. The round sleeve is 12 inches divided by 2. That is 6. I'll mark it. So note that I have not added any seam allowance yet. So I just want to... This is the actual measurement. So... This is it. Then I'll add my seam allowance. So it is preferable to use that it is better to use the same seam allowance you used on your dress. Okay. So I use one inch there. So I'll be adding one inch seam allowance. So this is my one inch seam allowance. So I'll connect it and I'll cut it out so that you can see the sleeve. 
So by the time I cut it to, to be clearer to you. So I have it there. So now let me cut. So I'll first of all cut the back. Okay. By the time I cut the back, I'll open it up and cut the front. So the essence of all this is to have a nice fitting sleeve that will not be puffing out at the armhole area or armpit area. So I'm cutting the back first of all. So this is it. Now I'll open it up. So I hope this is now clear to you. You can see the sleeve. So I'll open it up and cut out the front. Though the chalk mark is not showing well, but I can see it. So just cut out the front like so, which is deeper than the back. Okay? So I have it like so. So now I hope this is clear to you. So you can see the sleeve. Okay, you can see it now. This is the back side of my sleeve and this is the front side, which is deeper than the back. So the same way our armhole is deeper at the front, like you can see. Okay, that is the same way your sleeve should be. The front part of the sleeve should be deeper than the back side. So that by the time you fix your sleeve, it will be relaxed at this part. You won't have so much fabric puffing out or gathering at that point. So now I will use this to cut the other sleeve. And this is how I will do it. When cutting the other sleeve, you place right side facing each other. So this is the right side. You place right side facing each other. If you do it the other way around, you might end up having two sleeves. That is two sides. Two sleeves for one side. So you have to be careful. You place it this way. Right side facing right side. Then you cut. So you have to open it up so that you cut the front and the back the way it should be. Now, I'll notch the midpoint. So just make sure these two sides are aligning. So I'll notch the midpoint. So I have it here. Okay, let me still mark it because this is lace fabric. So this is my midpoint. So to attach it to the dress, you have to know which side is the front and which side is the back. So it is simple. By the time you fold it this way, by the time you fold it this way, you see the side that is deeper. So this is the front. So the, this, this one is on the wrong side. That is to say this is how this uh, sleeve will be attached. So I'm not the midpoint. So I'll join it like so, okay? And I'll have it there. By the time I join it, I'll then stitch. Okay, so I'll take my one inch seam allowance. I would also stitch it down. So I'll do the same for the other one. And we'll have our dress, okay? If you're loving this video, please give it a like. Just hit on the like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, I don't know what you're still waiting for. Please hit on the subscribe button. I love you to be part of this family. Please don't just go away without subscribing. Hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be receiving any videos I upload, okay? You'll be notified of the video. So let me go ahead and do everything and you see the final outcome and don't forget i said for the neckline okay i'll use my bias tape so i have a video on this channel on how to hem with bias tape i'll also drop the link in the description box so i'll just go around it okay so i'll just i can just start from any point i can decide to start from this point and i'll just hem it all the way to that point using my bias tape so that is it for the neckline and, and you will see the outcome of everything you see the the outcome of the dress